How do you keep that edge in the show when you come back to night? I think that the main thing that propels us forward is the music. And there are definitely days, especially in that maze, when it's earlier than normal and you're, you've got to get yourself psyched up. And even as I'm sitting in this little lounge here, exhausted sometimes and thinking, God, I don't know how I'm going to do this, as soon as that opening riff starts, all the energy comes up from you guys and by proxy to us. And it's a really amazing give and take throughout the course of the show. It's just, as soon as I flip around in that chair, I'm always amazed at how much energy I have all of a sudden. So I think a lot of this stuff is really out the band. Start, uh, Billy Joe said that, 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 that a lot of war veterans 
have come to see the show. Have you met any? What about the tons? Yeah, yeah. I <clears throat> regularly, whenever I'm meeting and uh, signing and taking photos with people, there are the ones I can see it in their eyes who want to say something else, and they can usually recognize and say what's going on. And I've gotten so many emotional hugs from people who say, you know, my my best friend went to Iraq after 9/11 and didn't come back. And I just want to thank you for what they did up there because it touched me. And there's no greater reward um, than to have an impact on somebody, especially a positive one. So, but this, you know, and it's different. Sometimes there are people who are about to go, and sometimes there are people who lift up their leg and they show that they actually have the same prosthetic leg that that I wear in the show. And I signed one of them one time. You know, it's. Uh, it's been really amazing to have the responsibility of portraying this. Um, this is such a, a huge part of your body and, and, and it be your identity as well. I'm wondering, like, am I still a man? Um, I've got a lot of letters from guys, uh, and, and I know that you um, just want to say, you know, thank you. It's, uh, it, it's good to see it up on stage. It's a good reminder. Has, has that been something that's happened in concerts for you with the Green Day? Um, um, I haven't talked to too many, and I think that's why uh, one reason that like, Stark's character is like so important in the way that he's been able to bring that character out is that it's, uh, you know, uh, for me, like, you know, my understanding, I had a, uh, an uncle that died in Vietnam, you know, my mother having a, a much older age, so a, a lot of my uncles were in World War II, and a lot of these guys came back, and they, they're going through years, and they don't talk about the war, they don't talk about the past, they don't talk about anything. My, I have a brother, who's much older than I am, who's actually a draft dodger. So for me, when I saw the military, like it was like military equals death. It was like, there was, there's this thing about people shooting guns at me, that I just was like, this is just frightening. So it was always, um, you know, so it was always unclear like how to uh, to communicate with people that are uh, in the armed forces. And I think it was like one thing that's been great about Stark is that his character is really like, you know, this is this, this is about all of us. It's not excluding you. It's like you're not. It's not this, this anti-military thing. Or anti, uh, you know, it's just the the fact that we went into a war. We were misled into a war. It was bullshit. You spoke. You spoke really 